With Candace and Kazuha getting a lot of the spotlight in this current patch, Yenfei has mostly found a quaint niche in the obvious Pyro Resonance decks with Xingqiu or Mona. But what if we take out the same old and throw in a wild card instead? The first thing to talk about with this deck is the elephant in the room, Magu Kenki. While most decks that use Yenfei opt for Singcho and another Pyro for the Resonance, Magu Kenki is here for his widespread cryo application by spawning a cryo and animo summon. By opening with Magu Kenki and using his summons, the deck can apply cryo and work to disrupt and stall the opponent with Singcho. Additionally, Magu Kenki's burst with both of his summons active can do quite a bit of damage right from the start. While the opening character will almost always be Magu Kenki, the starting hand is a bit trickier. For slower openings that want to build up the ramp in the deck, starting with the bestest travel companion, Treasure Seeking Seelie, Chang the Ninth, Stone and Contracts, and Vonorana is optimal. This opening will play the Seelie, Vonorana, and Chang the Ninth, and then only opt to summon Magu Kenki's Cryo Avatar before using stone and contracts and ending the first round. On the second round, continue the summons and then use Magu Kenki's burst if the opportunity presents itself. A more aggressive, albeit limiting opening has a starting hand of Northern Smoke Chicken, Bestest Travel Companion, Leave It To Me, Chang the Ninth, and the Lotus Flower Crisps. This opening will attempt to summon both Magu Kenki's Cryo and Animo Avatars, and then use the Northern Smoke Chicken to normal attack. With Chang the Ninth down, this will at least add one counter to the card, while giving Magu Kenki all of the energy needed to instantly burst on round two. Outside of the openings, this deck wants to use Vonorana, Stoning Contracts, and Paimon to ramp tons of dice and outpace the opponent. Along with the dice ramp, the treasure-seeking Seely and Chang the Ninth help to draw out Heavy Strike, which primarily will be used with Yenfei, but it sometimes can be used with other characters, especially if triggering Shatter on frozen opponents. The inclusion of various healing cards, primarily Sanganomiya Shrine, help to counter decks that go wide with AoE damage, like Shenha Swirl decks, and Send Off also acts as an unexpected counter to opponent's summons. With all of these cards, the deck is prepared for most encounters and aims to apply Cryo with Magu Kenki's summons, freeze with Sing Cho, and get his burst out, and then take down the opponent with Yenfei. With all that being said, let's get into some matches and see how the deck does. Okay, looks like we've got the old Shenha Swirl, so let's see how this works. Do I want all this ramp? I probably want the healing. I don't know if I want this over card draw. That might be useful. That's not card draw. We're gonna have to play around just out ramping here. Naturally, they're gonna go first. Um, oh, okay. How do we want to play this? The issue here is, I want the ramp, but I want the Magu Kenki the swirl combo too. So we kind of have to hope that they got terrible rolls. I mean, they're taking a while to roll, so maybe they're they're considering things. We also don't have quick swap, so this might all be a wonderfully moot point, and we don't have card draw to get quick swap because we did not draw what we needed. Yeah, they're gonna go for that burst early, aren't they? Normal attack? Okay, they might have the ability to do it, but do we want that to happen? No, probably not. Um... What if we just ramp out? Just full ramp out. Will they be able to get the burst off? Probably not. But that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna play this a bit silly and just full on ramp. Let's see what they do. 
they have a surprise die, they might be able to do it. They get their burst off. But the second they get that off next round, boop, we're hitting it. I ain't letting them get a chance to get that off. Of course, they'll be able to get it back real easy because they have this on her. Okay. So they opted for healing. Interesting. But we're going to want that. We've got both of these. We're not in a very good position to uh, get certain things out, though. Uh, we do outdice them by a lot, and I am going to take major advantage of that here. It's not bad. Oh, we've got another five Omnis showing up, so that's 13 there. They're going to burst, and we are going to stop it. There's their burst. Ouch. Cool burst. Von Arano would be really nice here, to be honest. But I think we'll just punch and then play that. I almost want them to end first, so that this goes nowhere. They are going to play Paimon, and they are going to play Food, which is interesting. They are going to end first. So this is going to go nowhere. That's nice. Um, well, no, maybe it will go somewhere, because we got to... No, it won't go anywhere, because we're punching her up front. Hmm, Von Arano would be so good right now. They probably have some form of food in hand, so I don't think, um... I think this will be fine to just play out. Oh, Von Arano, you would have been so nice here. Now, if they don't do food, we instantly kill the Shenha. And I will joyously take that opportunity. So hopefully they don't recognize just how much damage is coming in. Um, yeah, no, don't want that, we're gonna get rid of this. Oof. Paimon coming in for us, let's see what they do. Switch to Venti, ah, uh, okay. I mean, that's still some hefty damage coming in on them, I'm, I'm kinda alright with that. Of course, they will start swirling, but they don't have the buff from her, so... They will also get free swap, which is mighty annoying, and we don't have quick swap for freeze. But this is a too much damage to just not go for right here. We're putting all of them within Yenfei death range very quickly. Seely, okay. So now normal attacks are going to be a thing. Again, we don't have... Do we just switch to Yenfei and watch the madness at this point? Because I could kill any one of them right here with Yenfei, and they don't have the ability to freeze. Or I could just go for the freeze. This is the only one that's not going to die to Yenfei, and if they don't do anything about it, she dies pretty quickly next turn. They could push me back to him, though. It's pushed a previous character. If they push me back to him, what do I do? That's, yeah, I think we swap to him and just watch Chivalry and see if they try to push die. me into, uh, into that. He could just skill again. My guess is that they were going to try to swap this. They are going to swap the Sucrose. Okay. Do I want to freeze the Sucrose? Do I want to let this, mm. Freezing the Sucrose does sound nice. We could just smack the Sucrose and then murder her with a Yenfei. Tis an option. That's of course if they don't normal attack. They might just normal attack, in which case freeze Sucrose is a smarter choice. Yay, we freeze ourselves. So they swap to her. That's cool. Um, because we can just swap to Yenfei. Next time, be sure to make a proper appointment. So they aren't going to get the Shatter. Swaps to Venti. 
Um, cool. I'm going to do this so that they have to be scared of losing someone. Let's play. Venti skill. Okay. Still cry on them. It's no big deal for us. Yenfei is pretty much in killing position on everyone. This is going to be annoying. They swap the Shen. That's a bold move, Chief. Let's see how that works out for you. Okay, what are we doing? Normal attacking. Okay. That, that Shenha doesn't live next turn to get that burst off. Not unless they have a means of, of swapping again. They do, I forgot, because that's free. Interesting. She still dies. She still dies. Nice that it went to him because he is not as big of a threat. We get to go first. We can kill that with a skill. And then see where this goes. They all have pretty good HP. It's just keep the pyro. Hope for pyro. That's some strange looking pyro, but thankfully we have this. I don't see them killing doing seven damage in one, even with um, Whatchamabob. Um, Whatchamabob, very good. Even with Adeptus. So... Incinerate. This is quite Need useful for us. Adjustments. There's Venti there. They do have a lot of dice. That is a problem. Kind of didn't consider that there. Oh, weapon. Do they have Aqua Simulacra? Okay. And Adeptus, okay. Time for takeoff. Will that be enough for them? Mm, we don't have that. Interesting. Okay, never mind. They gave up. I think we could have still won that, anyways. Okay, looks like we are up against a Hyper Bloom deck with Nahida, so we have to be quite concerned with piercing going off here. Um, and this isn't bad. Do we want the... Do we want this? We have to think on what they're going to do first, right? Like, they're probably going to one of these. I don't think Child's going to come out until a little later here. Um, or they could go for the Electro Charge. I feel like we can draw into these later. Yeah, we definitely didn't need both of those. In fact, we probably didn't need either... That, that might have been a problem, just not getting rid of them. Because we really don't have any card draw here. We're depending on Vonorana. And we're going to depend on Vonorana a lot because, um, yeah. Not the best uh, dice rolls. Oof. Okay. Okay, so they're going to go for... A fairly quick burst. Shine down. And they will certainly be able to get it here. Um, Von Arana's gonna go down. I think we tune one of the... Mm, well, we don't have the ability to get Cryo, do we? So tuning one of these is a uh, moot point. Yeah, these, these dice really, really did a problem here. Hmm. Um, yeah, give him the old punch, because that's, uh, that's all we've got here is the old one-two. Wow, that was very unfortunate. And they have Von Arana as well. Seely, interesting timing on that. That probably should have been done first on their part. Um, yeah, this is going to be quite the pickle we're in here. We don't have quick swap. We don't have card draw. We've got... Really not good dice or cards there. We're going to be depending on out-dicing them with this, it seems. Out-healing, out-dicing. That's that's what we have to do. And with Nahida piercing, that's going to be a problem. Oh, hi. Looks like we um 
got some stuff. Let's see if we get a little more cryo here. No. At least we have the cryo left over from last time. They didn't seem to get the best dice rolls either, so they're re-rolling that. That's at least a positive for us. We also have to worry about the fact that um, that burst is going to do like, what, 5-6 here? Inazuma shines eternal. Yeah, 5. Um, virtually anything could kill that, so we are going to need to put this on him to survive whatever the next move is. Which is probably going to be Nahida. We don't really have quick swap, so that's going to be a problem. Is going to be Nahida. Ooh, okay. I think we just have to take it. I don't think she's going to do seven. Unless they have Adeptus Temptation, but then they probably wouldn't be able to play that, so... We are going to get hit by something. Don't know if it's her burst, don't know if it's her skill. But we can burst into this, and then... I would say we're in a decent-ish position. Cheerio. It is going to be the burst. <whistles> Live with just one. <laughs> Get the fire off those, which is good. Switch to him. Hmm. He's pretty much dead regardless of what we do, so I think we have to uh have to stone and contracts this out. Well, I mean we could play this, and then we're up one die on them. But I feel like we just let him die and then freeze Tar uh child. Almost called him Tartaglia there. Yeah, the freeze is going to be our, our benefit here. They have... Well, actually, no, we're not going to freeze him because... Whoops. Well, that's going to be an issue because he is definitely going to be able to get a, uh, a burst guide. off. And these were not the cards we needed. Well, since we're going to get hit in the face of Hydro anyways, we might as well Hydro skill. Okay, this is gonna be an issue then. No, my sword. And we don't have quick swap because if we did, we'd just be able to kill him right here. But we don't. Yeah, actually, never mind. Well, eh. hmm. Are they gonna try to go for the blue? Hmm. Because I'll just freeze you. I don't... I, I'm crazy enough to do it and, and make you waste dice. No, my sword. I'm not going to let that happen. Please end on Nahida so I can kill her. Unlucky. Okay. Well, this is a problem, isn't it? Because we can't burst. We can't do a whole lot of anything here at the moment. And they're going to heal a crap ton. Even if we were to do that, that wouldn't be enough. Ready for trial. Where are we swapping? If they're swapping. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oof, okay. Wow, whopping three there, Yenfei. Hmm. Well, that's a mighty issue, ain't it? I'm gonna at least allow something to go to Von Arana here. And they heal the three right back up and then lose two, so they're down to four with nothing on them. Teensy bit of an issue. All of them are going to be out of range of her killing, so I'm just going to swap back to this. 
May knowledge guide you. We get a whopping plus one die. She at least has cryo on her. He has a whole lot of nothing. But he is at four. Actually, they all are kind of in range for Yenfei, especially now. Wow, that's bad. Okay. Um, mm, if only we had quick swap on hand, eh? That might look like it's nice for Paimon, but I don't know if we have the time to risk playing Paimon. Or we're kind of even for dice here, and this is not pretty. Okay. Are they going to go for a burst again? Yeah, looks like they're going to go for the old burst. And they have it so that I can't charge attack kill. Mm. Very unfortunate. Can't do a whole lot. Witness we got to get the burst off, what? right? Torn to oblivion. Yep, and that's going to do one there. I taught you everything I... No. Wish I had gamblers. Don't really want that. Um, do we convert something? Probably the Sealy at this point. And we gotta think what we're doing for everything else. Yeah, probably the Sealy, right? And then we just do this. Pretty much whoever they swap to is dead here. Like I said, not gonna have the time for a Paimon. This will kill. She will still have Cryo on her, which is good. She is gonna heal to a metric crap gun, which is I not good. Only just yeah. And now we wait. This is gonna be potentially helpful. If we can draw another one cost. That's six. We burst, we do five, so, and there's a one charge there, so I think we win this. Unless they have a lot of damage in hand. Or we just never draw or roll the dice that we need. That could also be a bit of an issue. Okay, that should be usable. Book. Oh, that might be an issue. Make yourself a move. Oh, Jesus, that might be an issue. Wow, they might have just topped that with book. That's five. That would be four. I think we win. I think we barely eat this out. Because that's four, and that'll be plus two, because this will count as a charge attack. <laughs> Very close. Wow. Nahida's burst is, um... Yeah, it's something. But there we go. Okay, looks like we've got ourselves typical Catalyze here, running lots of summons, so we definitely want Send Off. There's Send Off, oh, that's good. Don't want that yet, don't want two of these. This is all right. Uh, we, we would like some card draw and some ramp. There's some card draw, and that's not ramp. So, a little low on what we want here. We're going to kind of depend on Von Arana for things. The send-off, we're probably going to have to take a hit from the Electro regardless. Um, mm. I don't know why I kept that Pyro. I did not mean to do that. I think we send out Cryo first here. Interesting. Maybe they didn't get the dice they wanted. Illusion shattered. Or they're just preparing to free swap into him. Could be a problem. Um, hmm. I'm going to at least get this off. And we can see about maybe just normal attacking into 
Von Arana or something. So she's going to definitely get her burst off next round. There's not a whole lot we can do about that unless we just end right now, which I don't think would be particularly... Well, you know what? Let's, well, we don't have quick swap, do we? So what's the point in trying it? We would 100% need quick swap if we wanted to do this. I think our best choice then is to just go for the summon. Because they're going to be able to do it. There's not much we can do here. Shielding her for some reason. She's not going to take much damage anyways. We get one cryo for swapping, I suppose. We're going to get hit for Electro. Then we're going to get hit again pretty hard. So no quick swap there. It's going to be a great problem. We're still probably going to swap into Sing Cho and just protect him and, and go from there. They're going to spend a lot of their dice bursting, so we're going to have to take advantage of that and just normal attack. It'll also draw us cards. They have Bestus, so we still have to hope that we they, that they didn't draw or roll rather the dice that they wanted. Oh, they have this. I kind of saw that potentially coming. Adeptus. Okay. Now you shall perish. We at least have our summons out. That is mighty annoying. We're going to have to prepare for this. This also means that they don't have many turns the or many uh, dice for doing anything else. Tainari, are they expecting me to freeze into that? Because I'm not going to. Um, I mean, I feel like he loses this regardless. It's just like, do I want to get... They could have spared dice, so I think we just normal attack. If they have spared dice and a mean to convert, well, that would have been nice of literally a moment ago. And now they're just going to go for heal. Okay. <sighs> They're gonna get to go first. Do we just send off and wait? Yeah, that might be the best choice. Send off and wait. Takes him back down to seven. But we also lose the ability to freeze. We can burst, but we will get hit with Bloom, which is going to be an issue. Mm. Of course, we're basically dealing with summons here. Summons and bursts. Because Yai on her own doesn't do a huge amount of damage. I mean, Bloom is still going to hurt. Her burst Bloom is going to hurt. And we don't have Quick Swap. He's got this, so we can use skill and then do something with it. And they're converting everything. We might have a chance here. He's going to use it first. Interesting. Ow, that's, again, a lot of damage. They don't have extra cards or anything. Again, we are giving them Bloom, which is going to suck, but... Ring cutter. We'll make do. Swapping to Miko. We just go for the, the skill on her then. Ready for trial. Skill and then into that maybe. We could potentially just kill Miko maybe? I don't think so. Yeah, that would only be four if we did. Mm, well, no, maybe. Hold up. We wouldn't get gamblers, but we would. Incinerate. We would get kill. That would certainly be kill. I think we go for that, because I don't want that burst doing bloom damage. And now it's just a matter of what do we do? What do we convert here? Probably nothing. Probably just do this. Mm. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like we just do this. We've got it anyway, so do it. Unfortunately, this removes the Hydro on her. They're, they're smart enough to let that happen. And we didn't have gamblers to really capitalize too much on it, but... We are still in a position where we can do stuff because they don't have a huge amount of damage. They swap to him, it's a big risk. Um, this could still be winnable. I would like send off again, but there's no guarantee that's going to happen. Just in case we have to swap to him for something. I'm not seeing it, but just in case. They may or may not have any healing. If they have healing, it could be an issue. If they don't have healing, we could possibly kill. Normal attack. Okay. I think that's only gonna... No, that'll do four. And it's not even a charge attack, so... Yeah, it's still four on her. Just to be entirely sure. So even if they have two I haven't lost yet, this is pretty much over, because we can just burst into it. Time for your and she'll be able to attack for two. Normal attack. And then we, we kill for two. Okay, so... Flowers win and... over uh, summons yeah. deck burst deck let's take a moment to talk about the deck's overall competitiveness the deck can compete with the major meta decks and come out on top at times but some glaring issues lower the deck's overall rating to an a minus while the deck can be very strong both of its ideal openings get in the way of its own win condition if you open with both of the needed summons from magu kenki you don't have a chance to ramp until the second round and by then the opponent has usually ramped and stepped ahead. If you play the ramp out on round one, you don't get both of the summons out to quickly spread the cryo around. In regards to the cryo application, while it works very well the first time, the animo summon can occasionally get in the way of ensuring that all of the opponent's cards have cryo on them. And lastly, while the deck has an answer to virtually every kind of opponent, it can sometimes be frustrating to not draw the needed card at the needed time, despite having decent card draw engines. This puts a lot of pressure on a strong opening to get out everything that is needed within the first two rounds. Of course, no deck is perfect and bad luck can hinder the efficacy of even the best of decks, so despite these flaws, the deck still proves strong enough to warrant its competitive rating. And if you decide to use the deck and enjoy it, feel free to mention it in the comments and click on the video here for more unique Genshin TCG decks.